Hoyland versus Rasmus Hoyland. Like, excellent. And Hoyland! Rasmus Hoyland is Denmark's most expensive player of all time. But can he replicate the goal-scoring feats of Ruud van Nistelrooy for Man United? Already under immense pressure and the subject of internet memes, it is clear that expectations are sky-high for the 21-year-old who is only playing his second season in Europe's top-flight league. But as we all know, Manchester United fans can be ever so demanding. Will Hoyland be their savior, or yet another failed wonder kid who succumbed to the pressures of Old Trafford? But hold on for a second. Before all of that, we have to take a look at his beginnings. Born on the 4th of February 2003, it wouldn't be long before Hoyland would end up at FC Copenhagen, one of Denmark's top clubs. Arriving at just 14 years old, Rasmus impressed before finally making the leap to the first team at the age of 17. One year later, he would be promoted permanently to the first team, showing the club's belief in his talents. His first two senior goals would come that summer as well in the Europa Conference League. And by the winter of 2021, Hoyland had racked up five goals in 31 senior appearances. Not the most prolific numbers, but enough to earn Hoyland a move to Austrian club Sturm Graz for a fee close to two million pounds. Two goals in his debut were a sign of things to come, with the Dane finishing the season with 12 goals in 21 games. Although Hoyland was not making headlines weekly for going viral for scoring five goals in one game, like his Scandinavian striker counterpart Erling Holland, his consistency and potential had finally attracted clubs from Europe's top leagues, with Italian side Atalanta taking a chance in paying Sturm Graz 17 million pounds in the summer of 2022 to acquire the rights for him. Hoyland had certainly shown positive signs at his age, but 17 million pounds for a relatively unknown striker playing in Austria raised many eyebrows, and many fans were eager to see what the kid was all about. Atalanta was coming off some of the club's most successful seasons, with players like Josip Ilicic and Luis Muriel carrying them to the Champions League knockout stages. Amongst other successes, there would be some big shoes to fill and lots of recent success that the club was looking to build on, and Hoyland was their bet as the man to take the club to the next level, and he certainly didn't disappoint. Bagging a promising 10 goals and 4 assists across two competitions for Atalanta. All this while showing that he was as exciting of a young talent as other emerging strikers across the world. This breakout season saw Hoyland showcase his clinical finishing skills as well as his ability to be in the right places at the right times in order to secure those tap ins every striker loves. He was proving to be a textbook number 9 who was consistent in their finishing and a constant threat to opposition defenses. And at the end of the season, with many of Europe's top clubs in search of a prolific striker, it was no surprise that Hoyland's name would be on so many teams' radars. But was 10 goals and 4 assists in 34 games enough for the next level? Taking into account that this was his debut season in a top European flight, the numbers were certainly impressive. But we have seen other striker wonder kids have similarly strong starts to their careers only for it to fizzle out in the coming seasons. While Manchester United seemed to have thought it was, purchasing him for a whopping 72 million pounds, in turn making him the most expensive Danish player in history. It would also be Manchester United's most expensive transfer of the window, with the club scrambling for a striker after missing out on main target Harry Kane. Some fans were excited by the young talent, whilst others argued that he hadn't proved enough yet to justify the hefty fee being paid but this fee was necessary for Manchester United to get their target, as many other top clubs in Europe were after Hoyland as well. Transfer guru Fabrizio Romano revealed after the window that both Tottenham and PSG were also interested in the striker, surely driving up Atalanta's asking price. Romano also revealed that Hoyland's intentions were always to choose Manchester United, being that it was his childhood club and a lifelong dream to play at Old Trafford. He even went as far as appointing new agents before the summer, telling the agency that they had three months to get him a move to Manchester if they wanted him as their full-time client. Luckily for him, they were able to grant his wishes, and on August 5, 2023, Rasmus Hoyland would become Manchester United's new number 11, inheriting the number from the disgraced Mason Greenwood. With his childhood dream achieved, being able to play for the club he always supported as a kid, Hoyland was ready to announce himself to the world. Although a back injury would keep Hoyland out, for the beginning of the season, he would finally debut in a 3-1 loss to Arsenal on September 3rd, 2023. And only 17 days later, he would get his first goal in a close Champions League defeat to Bayern Munich. Despite the loss, Manchester United fans were getting a glimpse of what he had to offer. 
and a goal in his European debut with the club was definitely a positive sign. He would go on to score two goals in another Champions League defeat to Galatasaray, and although the European results were not in the team's favor, Hoyland was showing positive signs. Being able to score a total of five goals in United's eventual disappointing elimination from the group stages of the Champions League, including a brace against his former club FC Copenhagen. His domestic form, however, was beginning to cause some concern. Having scored no goals in the Premier League yet for Manchester United, Hoyland would become the subject of scrutiny and internet memes as his quest for a Premier League goal continued. Australian singer Sean Millis would even top the UK charts with his song Waiting for a Miracle, boosted by the fact that Hoyland and the singer shared some slight physical similarities, which fans and internet trolls seemed to be amused by, as well as the title of the song fitting perfectly with Hoyland's own Wait for a Miracle, which was his first Premier League goal. Clips of the song would flood the timeline with every weekend that went on without a goal for Hoyland, with the player himself eventually even taking notice and liking one of Sean's posts. Only in this day and age can a young striker's gold draft propel the career of a singer from a completely different country. But with the holidays coming around, Hoyland would be looking to propel his own career, and his wait for a miracle would end soon. Hoyland's miracle would finally come on Boxing Day in front of a packed crowd at Old Trafford. Manchester United would go 2-0 down inside the first 26 minutes of the game. Going into the half, it was looking like another disappointing display in front of the hopeful supporters. But United would start the second half strong, bringing it back to 2-2 with the excitement of a Garnacho brace. With 20 minutes left to go, Old Trafford was roaring with excitement as the comeback looked to be on. And who else but Rasmus Hoyland would be the man of the occasion. Capitalizing on a loose ball from a corner, Hoyland would volley one on the half turn with his left foot, sending the crowd into euphoria and securing the three points. Hoyland's miracle had finally come. No more memes, no more songs, no more waiting. And once the goals started coming, they didn't stop. Rasmus missed the next game due to illness before going on a five-game scoring streak, scoring six and assisting two in that time. And although he's currently struggling with a muscle injury, Hoyland seems to have found his form amongst United's talented but young squad, and is proving to have the bright future that many fans believe he will have. That being said, as with all young talents, only time will tell if he lives up to the great Danish legends or Manchester United greats before him. Hoyland certainly has the potential to be the next Ruud van Nistelrooy, with the two sharing similar aspects of their game. Both strikers' strengths lie in their ruthless finishing abilities, as well as their killer sense to being the most dangerous areas of the pitch, scoring goals that seem lucky to some, but only happen to the cleverest strikers, such as the Dutch legend himself. However, Hoyland still has a long way to go if he wants to match Van Nistelrooy's 150 goals in 219 appearances, along with his Premier League, FA Cup, and League Cup medals as well. Although these are big shoes to fill, the expectation is that Hoyland reaches similar heights, with Manchester United football director John Murtaugh believing Hoyland to have technical and physical attributes which rank him among the best players in the world for his age group. And with United's youngsters such as Manu and Garnacho having breakout seasons themselves, there is no doubt that the talent is brewing in Old Trafford. The kids are here to take over.